Lead a one-man revolution from your armchair Talking cliches to listeners that aren't there You call it warfare, but your wars aren't fair If they were, they'd be suicide bombers in arms fairs YouTube salute Here with my Who Killed Malcolm X Review Episode 6 Legacies If you haven't checked out my other reviews You can check those out on a documentary review playlist And if you haven't checked out the um, other episodes on Netflix, please you can get a chance check them out and also Subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber yet and click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live so Malcolm X his worldview changed after his pilgrimage to Mecca. We all know that when Malcolm X went to Mecca He saw white people. He saw Different, you know different races and he was praying with them even with them so he was always with the nation of Islam, you know, being around black people only. Now he's around all nationalities. So that's his one aspect that changed about his worldview only. But there's other things that he actually had a different type of ideology, which was he, he embraced more of the pan-Africanism ideology. J. Edgar Hoover, he neutralized Malcolm X momentum that he had in the United States. Adu Rahman Muhammad, he believes that the FBI had their own documents different from the courtroom, different description of the assassin, which was William Bradley. He's saying light skinned Jefferson was the person they said that shot, had the shotgun, but it wasn't even there, versus a dark skinned William Bradley. So we've seen this so many times in the the unjust system, the justice system. They'll say, say for example, a guy that goes to jail, the police arrest, he's six foot six, and the guy they arrested might have been five foot two. His description is always flawed. FBI described William Bradley as a lieutenant in the FOI, the Fruits of Islam. The FBI closes the file six months later from the day Malcolm X was assassinated and didn't give it to the DA at all. Bradley, William Bradley died the same day Abdul Rahman Muhammad was getting ready to knock on his door and confront him about did he killed Malcolm X and when he let the world tell the truth. Um, Abdul, um, Abdul Rahman Muhammad pulled up to his house. He was getting ready to get out. It's like, damn, he got a phone call. Muhammad was very upset and disappointed that he didn't complete the job. So on October 24th, 2018, that's when this information came to him about William Bradley had passed away. Muhammad sacrificed so much money in the research towards Malcolm X and Malcolm X model gave him a plan to pass on to his son and his you know, next generation, even me. Even when I read the autobiography of Malcolm X, that changed my life. I got a tattoo, two tattoos of Malcolm X on my forearms. So it changed my life, my ideology. Thomas Hagen, um, he catches up with his family. You see him on Facebook, but he only can, you know, use filler talk. He can't talk too much and he can't have the relationship he wants with his family because of the false imprisonment and, you know, being this person they said that killed Malcolm X. I do a rock man. He goes to Bradley's funeral so he can hear people's mixed feelings and people are actually looking at Bradley as a hero when they sent him off, which was very shocking to me. I was like, what the hell? This fool is a motherfucking hero for killing Malcolm X. But let's, let's get this clear. I can't be surprised because just because we look at somebody as a hero and could be a villain to some can also be the hero to the other people and the villain to some. So people might see Bradley as a hero, Malcolm X as a villain. For real. Sheila Olivia, who is the lieutenant governor, attended Bradley's funeral. She told Muhammad that that's an urban legend that Bradley killed Malcolm X. And Bradley transformed his life and other people's lives in the city. Members of the Moss 25 and former Nation of Islam members defended Bradley so hard when Muhammad questioned them about the evidence he found. His thinking wasn't a Muslim, they try to say at that time. Now he became more of a Muslim when he went to jail, when he actually was let out of prison. 
they believe he became a better human being after going to Mecca also. They also believe that Abdul Rahman Muhammad made a horrible mistake of researching and trying to seek justice for Malcolm X. I was like, damn, at least they come out, came out and say, said it. Rahman, Rahman Muhammad actually visited a historian, Zach Kondo in Washington, D.C. And he said, Kondo said he holds all the members accountable, which is Elijah Muhammad, J. Edgar Hoover, FBI, the gunmen, the NYPD. He said they are all participants of Malcolm X assassination. Um, Idiaza Shabazz, I hope I'm pronouncing her um, name right. That's the daughter of Malcolm X, said that people were in power, knew to kill her father because of his strength. Malcolm X was very powerful, very strong. Everybody knew that and they feared what he was going to, you know, do for the black people in this country, revolutionizing the, 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 um, the world. So what about Malcolm X family? Um, his death impacted so many lives. Um, and the last thing I did like about the um, documentary at the end, I do rock me Muhammad. He submitted a petition, petition to exonerate Norman Butler's um, record of the murder of Malcolm X. I thought that was beautiful right there. Like, okay, okay, I, I, I like that. I like that, that, you know, he was gonna do that. And hopefully everything changes from there. And just to let you know, the DA of New York has actually reopened the case now. They're gonna look at more evidence just because of this documentary. I think this was a great documentary overall. I'm very happy and satisfied with this documentary. Moving forward, I would like to see more documentaries like this. They don't have to just be on Netflix or Hulu. They can just do this and people can buy the DVD or if they can't put it on Netflix or Hulu, I think that's great for the, the public view, you know, in the United States or worldwide, it doesn't matter. But I appreciate everybody that's watched every Who Killed Malcolm X review on my channel. Thank you so much. And the people that gave me comments, thank you so much. The people that gave me negative comments, thank you so much too. Post your comments below. Hoax Smash Black Panther, the like button, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you'd like to support and donate to the channel, I have Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, peace.